For USCFSales.com, I'm Steve Lopez with another Fritz tip for you, looking at Fritz 13. We're going to start looking at some new features that have been added to the software. But we're going to begin by looking at Fritz 12. How bizarre. We're going to look at an old feature of Fritz 12 and show you why this new feature of Fritz 13 is so important. We're going to start by looking at a position in the King's Indian Defense. Uh, my friends and uh, readers and viewers who have been following my work for 20 years know this is actually kind of a mainstream opening compared to my normal. Let me flip the board around and get the black pieces back up on top where they belong. This is a nine move variation in the King's Indian Defense. As I said, more mainstream than what I normally play. Black has just played the H pawn to H6. And the annotator has said that white has a slight advantage here. However, I doubt that just a little bit. I'm not sure that white has a slight edge. I'm thinking this is more of even position. So how would I check this? Well, the obvious way to do it, as we've been looking at in previous videos, is to use Fritz 12. To use Fritz or any other chess engine to analyze the position. Let's see what this stronger player this electronic player, this digital player, thinks of this position. So I would come up here to the top of the screen and click Infinite Analysis and let it rip. However, and of course we're getting analysis, I'm getting the idea according to Fritz 12, I'm wrong, at least at present. Uh, well, there we go, that looks a little more equal there. It was saying white had a slight edge, but as it looks a little deeper, it's shown an equal position. However, I'm, I'm 15, 16, 17 seconds into this now, and I have to let this run for a while to get a decent surge depth out of it, where I want to get 17, 19 plies out of it. It's going to run for several minutes. Now this is not a highly unusual position. This is right out of a chess book on the openings. That's back, that's where the evaluation came from. White is slightly ahead. The annotator in this book has made that evaluation of this position. It's not an unusual position. I'm sure people have analyzed this position before using chess engines on their own computers. Wouldn't it be cool if somehow I could have access to their analysis, if I could just click a button and see what other people's chess engines have thought of this analysis in the past, so that I'm not sitting here for five, six, seven minutes waiting to get that longer search depth. See, I'm up to 17 plies now. I'll probably be five minutes getting up to 19 ply. It'll be seven to ten minutes getting up to twenty if I want to sit here that long. And in the meantime, my computer is tied up analyzing its position. If I go do other things, I can Alt-Tab into other programs and do other things on my computer, but that's taking processing time away from Fritz and slowing down the process somewhat. So basically, if you want Fritz 12 to run a full bore, you kind of have to sit and wait. And as I said, I'm sure there have been several other people, maybe dozens, who have analyzed this position before on their own computer but I can't have access to their analysis. Wouldn't it be cool if there was some central repository for everybody's computer analysis where you could look and see what other engines have thought about this position? For example, I don't have Deep Fritz 12. I just have Fritz 12. So if I wanted to see how somebody that had Deep Fritz 12, Deep Rib Kafour, Deep Shredder, Deep Junior, Deep High Arcs with a faster machine than what I own can get a deeper surge depth, what about that analysis? Wouldn't it be cool if I could see what people with better hardware and multiprocessor chess engines, what their engines think of a particular position instead of sitting here waiting to generate it myself. Wouldn't that be cool? Wouldn't it be neat if I could just click a button and get that analysis instantly if it's sitting out there on some central repository, some central online server somewhere? Wouldn't that be convenient? Wouldn't that save time? After all, the whole idea of ChessBase and Fritz and all of the related playing programs is to help you save time, help you get the answers that you need, whether it's finding games in ChessBase that have a certain board position or a certain positional motif, whether it's getting a chess engine to analyze your entire game or analyze a single position. The whole idea is you can get quick answers and ones that you could not get on your own, either because you're not a strong enough player or because you don't have a whole huge library of books. You don't have time to dig through them. So the whole point of Chess Base and Fritz and the related playing programs, Hire, Junior, Shredder, Ribka, is to save time. Wouldn't it be cool if you could save even more time by clicking a button 
bang, there's this analysis even deeper than the 19 ply depth that I've reached after three and a half minutes. Wouldn't that be convenient? Well, ask and ye shall receive. This is Fritz 13 now that we're looking at, looking at the same position. But now look down here in the lower right-hand side of the screen. I've got Hierarchs 13.2 analyzing it. By the way, you're not going to see this move. This is a screenshot rather than an actual video, the reason being my hardware is not powerful enough for me to do narrated videos in real time. So I decided to take a screenshot so I could take my time and talk to you a little bit about this. What we're looking at here is a major new feature of Fritz 13. This is a screenshot. And the way you start this thing is you have that position that we were analyzing a moment ago using Fritz 12, same board position, but going to the engine menu and clicking on a button that says, let's check, kabang. What we have here is we've connected to an online server. Obviously, you need internet access to be able to use these new features of Fritz 13. And look what we have here. Three times before, this position has been analyzed by other chess engines. I had Fritz 12 analyzing it. But look here, we have Fritz 13, Junior 12, and an unidentified engine, another UCI-compatible chess engine that is not a chess-based product. So it says new engine. Now, sometimes you will see engines, by the way. I'll take a little side detour here and tell you. You will see engines listed that are not chess-based products, but for some reason the server cannot identify this particular engine. But sometimes you'll see other engines uh, that you may recognize that are names that are either freebies or put out by other companies. As you may be aware, you can incorporate any UCI Universal Chess Interface Chess Engine into the Fritz software. In fact, that's up here on the left-hand side. You see a command that says Create UCI Engine. We've not fooled around with this yet, but you can import extra engines into the Fritz software. But by clicking Let's Check, we've connected to an online server and we see that this position has been analyzed before. Let's look a little bit more closely at the new panel, the new pane that has just opened up. And what we have here is three separate engines that have analyzed this position already. What we see is their recommendations, each listed. And by the way, they're all different. You'll notice that Bishop H4 is recommended by two engines. Another one recommends Bishop F4 for white. We have Bishop H4 C5 by these two engines. But then they have different ideas as to white's reply, Bishop D3 or Knight D2. Then we have a completely separate idea from the mystery engine here, Bishop F4, G5, Bishop G3. Notice their evaluations are here as well. Fritz 13 analyzing to a depth of 24 ply. That's 12 full moves ahead. Thinks white is ahead by a quarter of a pawn. The mystery engine analyzing to a depth of 22 ply, 11 moves. Thinks that white is ahead by just over a half a pawn, whereas junior hasn't gone quite as deeply into the position. Uh, analyzed to a depth of 18 ply, 9 moves, and white's about a tenth of a pawn ahead. So it looks like, according to junior, my idea that it's more of an equal position seems to be holding up. According to Fritz 13, white may have a little bit of an edge, sort of on the cusp of an equal position to white having an advantage, whereas the new engine thinks white is definitely having an advantage here. This stuff has been analyzed, this position has been analyzed by some user or users three times using three separate engines and stored in a central repository online, an online server that the chess-based company maintains. So very quickly, very easily, I do one click, and instead of waiting around three and a half minutes for a 19-ply search depth from Fritz 12, I instantly have what another user analyzed to a depth of 24-ply and stored on this server. The the best the, the best three ply the, the best moves for three ply deep along with an evaluation. That's huge. That's really, really big because now you can save a ton of time in your chess analysis by just one clicking and if it's already been analyzed, you've got the analysis there. But what if it hasn't been analyzed yet? Well, this is where it gets really cool because you can contribute your analysis to the server and get credit for it. You score points for it, you get listed on a leaderboard if you score enough points, you score points for it, but the coolest part is if you're the first person to analyze a position, your play chess username 
And if you've been playing using previous versions of Fritz, if you've been playing online on ChessBase's server, you already have a, a Play Chess username. Your username becomes permanently attached to that position as the discoverer of that position. Best way to show you this is to show you how it works. So we'll get into that here in just a sec. Now in the Fritz 13 software, what we're going to do is we're going to have a look here at how to start the let's check feature. I've got a new position here. It's in the King's Indian Defense, different variation. And I want to see if anyone has analyzed this before. And if not, I'd like to add my analysis to the ongoing database. So I can come up here to the engine menu, click on the tab to bring myself to a new ribbon. And there's two different ways to get into this. One is to click the Let's Check button, as you see here, the one that's highlighted in orange on the ribbon. You can click that and go right to the server. There's another way to do it as well. If you come down here to your engine analysis pane, you'll see a blue arrow button on the right side. That'll get you into it as well. But instead, I'll just come up here, back up to the, uh, to the ribbon at the top, and we'll start it by clicking the Let's Check button. And suddenly we're connected to the server just that quick, and we'll see that nobody has analyzed this position yet. You'll see that my analysis is showing up here. By the way, I've resized the pane so we have a better look at the let's check part of the engine analysis pane. Notice that I'm the only one analyzing so far. No one else has looked at this position. You'll see the analysis. You'll see the three move variation. You'll see the evaluation that the engine is given and this is constantly updated of course you'll see the depth that my engine has reached you also see my username Armistead it's in half tone it will become full tone as soon as we reach a point where the engine has gone deeply enough that you can actually it's it's deep enough that the server decides that it's valid analysis we don't want shallow analysis on this server that's what the bar that you're seeing, the progress bar moving along there, that's what that's showing. How much time until it becomes a valid piece of analysis. And it doesn't take long. It's only about, you know, a minute or two on my machine. And you will see the display change accordingly once we get to a deep enough analysis. Once again, the server doesn't want shallow cursory analysis. I've talked about this in previous videos where it, it, what you want is a decent search depth, somewhere in the high teens, even into the 20s of plies. And that is the rule on this server. There you see, after a minute and a half, we've just reached it, where you now see the search depth has turned green, and my name, my username, Armistead, is now in black. It's in full tone, meaning that this will now be saved to the server. And now we have another bar, uh, another progress bar down there at the bottom. Notice also it's added analysis under the progress bar. There's the main line. That will be the main move and the variation, or I'm sorry, the uh, evaluation will be updated constantly the deeper my engine analyzes this position. And I am using Fritz 13 for this analysis. What is the bar, the progress bar, saying now? What is the point here? Well, the point of that progress bar at this point is this is how long it's going to be until I discover this position. I'm the only person who's analyzed this position, so I have the potential to be the discoverer of the position. What does that mean? It means I'm going to be the first person to analyze it. I'm going to be the first person whose engine has analyzed this position and stored that information on the server and that means the name Armistead, my PlayChess username, will be permanently attached to this position. So you'll see that happen, but it takes a few minutes to get to that point. In fact, I think it takes uh, around 10 minutes, 11 minutes or so for this to happen. So we're going to jump ahead in the video. We're going to fade out and come back in a little bit later on. But what I want to show you here is we've loaded a position and we're having our engine analyze it, and we're contributing our analysis, in this case Fritz 13's analysis, to the worldwide server. The two ways you get into it, as we saw, are the Let's Check button in the engine menu, still in orange up there at the top, as you see, and the other way is the blue arrow button that appears in the engine analysis pane. Currently, it's not displayed, obviously, because we're already analyzing. 
So we're going to jump ahead a few minutes and show you what happens once you've discovered a position. We've now jumped ahead several minutes. You'll see we're about nine minutes into the analysis now. And you notice the green progress bar down at the bottom shows we have about a minute to go. It just jumped there. We have about a minute to go before I become the discoverer of this position. What that's going to do, as I said, is attach my username to this position. Doesn't matter how many people analyze this position from now till the end of time. One person, ten people, a hundred, a thousand. The username Armistead will always be attached to this position. And because I've become the discoverer of this position, or will in about a minute, what you're going to also see is my name possibly one day appear on a leaderboard. There's like a, a leaderboard for users of this feature. Discovering positions scores points toward being on that leaderboard. It gives you a ranking. So that's just a little added incentive to add your analysis to this worldwide community, this central repository of analysis developed by people all around the world using their chess engines. Should be about any time now you're going to see this thing suddenly change and my name will appear. There we go. I've discovered this position, discovered by Armistead. Notice I'm going to continue to let uh, Fritz analyze here. Uh, but you can see discovered by Armistead. And you can look across the display here. You'll see it's got my name. It's got the engine that I used. It has uh, the flag of uh, my country, United States. Notice also the depth designation turned dark blue from green. That means I've reached that next level where I am now the discoverer, not just somebody that analyzed the position. The analysis is there for everybody to see. The little line of play that uh, has appeared as well as the computer's positional analysis. Note that you can resize this. You can go back and look at my engine analysis and note that uh, this line of play came in about four minutes into the analysis. You can also move this up and down to get a better look at the engine. If you want to turn this off then all you have to do is click the let's check button again and that will turn it off. For USCFSales.com I'm Steve Lopez. Thank you very much for watching.